Hello everyone and welcome back to another MU Engage training video. For this video, we're going to be going over how to get started with MU Engage. If you're new to Engage or not familiar with how to navigate it, then this is the video for you. What you're currently looking at is the homepage for Engage. These two buttons right here will change out periodically with new events going on, good information to know, and these are also clickable. These can launch out to events that are going on. Here you'll see our news post going over how to download your co-curricular transcript. Um, as you see here, these are also all clickable as well. This will take you where to download the app. This managing your group is a collection of all of the training videos that we have created for your success. From how to do email builder, how to use the app, the website guidelines, these will all live here and we're added here as well. Join the Engage Admin Club to stay updated. This is a great, Engage Admin Club is a great tool for you to use as this is where training videos are posted, helpful resources. So definitely look into this um, so that it helps your process in using Engage. And then here is Help Center. Um, this is our campus groups who Engage is used through. Um, if there's anything that we cannot answer for you, um, then you would go here. Um, but with any questions at all, um, definitely reach out to engage at missouri.edu um, and we can answer any questions you might have. If you go down, this is our upcoming events slider. So any events that are upcoming, um, they'll be posted here and you can go through them. Um, down here, my groups, any groups that you're a part of will be down here as well. If you scroll up, You'll see here that groups is over here on this left hand menu and is also up here. If you click on that, it will bring you to a list of groups that you can sort through. Um, if you click on any of these, it will take you to that groups page. This is their group page um, and we'll give information on it um, that they have built out. So if we go back, here are events. Events are also can be clicked up here as well. Here on the events page um, is where you can search, filter, um, and just kind of explore what events are going on that you might be interested in. Um, these go all the way down. There's so many of them. Um, you can see here that there's this register button, um, which will register you to the event, um, which is great. You also have the option <clears throat> to sort by group. Um, if you're looking for events put on by a specific group, maybe a group type, um, student organization, maybe something within REC. You also can do categories, event types, and event tags. Um, so there's quite a few different options. You can pick date ranges, and you also can search for events that if you're specifically looking for them, you can do that as well. Um, up here, there is a chat feature and engage. If anyone chats you, you can do it on there. Um, let's go back to our home page. If you go over here, you'll see news. If you click on news, um, all of the newsletters posted by different organizations will be here, um, which is great. So you can find news posts here um, if you're looking for something particular. Uh, any notifications you'll have will be here as well. Surveys and forms, if you've done any surveys or forms, they will live here as well. Uh, any that you do for any group that's assigned to you or fill out, it would live here. If you go over here to feed, this is the community feed that is open to all of Engage. So on Engage, you can post on here any helpful information, anything you all might have going on. So post any questions, links, just to um, be a community wide, basically to help you all navigate Engage. If we go back. If we click my activity, we'll get this drop down. So again, this is all personalized to you. Um, my activity will be your activity. Uh, any groups that you're a part of is here. Any events that you've RSVP'd for will be here as well. Meetings that you have been assigned will also be here. Assigned, done. Um, you'll see here the event that I'm going to. Um, Checklist, if you are assigned any checklist on a group, this is where they will live at. This is where you can see your completion of how much you've done within that checklist. Um, 
and they all live underneath here. Like you'll see at the top, this blue thing is the track itself that can be collapsible. And then these down here are the actual checklists themselves. Points, if you have points, they will be here as well. Badges, which are not currently out and engaged, but if you were to have a badge, they would also live here as well. Uh, service hours um, can be offered through Engage. Um, however, that is totally up to a group's discretion. Just because you're requesting it from a group does not mean that they'll offer official service hours. So reach out to um, whoever is in charge of your department and or area academic, and they can kind of clarify for you what you need to do regarding your service hours and if they are doing it on Engage. Um, any surveys and forms that you need to do will be here that you have done. Any workflows that you're involved with will live underneath my activity as well. If we scroll down over here, any inbox, so these are emails that can be sent to you, they would be here. And any payments, there's no payments on MU Engage, so just go ahead and disregard this, my payment, no cash, no money. Um, is officially done on Engage. Budgets are, however, the actual payment of it is not. So ignore that. I wanna make sure that I focus on the My Co-Curricular Transcript. A co-curricular transcript is a transcript of all of the extracurricular activities that you have done while you spent your time at the University of Missouri from going to events, um, if you held officer positions within certain groups, uh, this all lives here. This is something that you can share with future employers. Um, if you're looking at internships, this is just a great tool for you to have to show and display um, the extracurriculars that you did while you were at the university outside of the classroom. So you'll see here um, email. If you go to edit, there's a lot of options of where you can hide it. Um, I have a training video on it that I definitely think you should check out. Um, on the co-curricular transcript, how to customize it. But you'll see here, this is where all the groups that you're a part of, any events you went to, um, they all live on here. So this is a great tool, um, but definitely check out uh, the training video on that, on the uh, managing your group homepage button. Go back and reference that for you right there. Um, obviously, you will not see this little admin button, so go ahead and disregard that. Um, and then this campus portal down here, um, this is a links to another helpful website, um, Mizzou One. This is a great resource, especially if you're new to Mizzou, getting started with Mizzou. Um, and all throughout, this can be a tool throughout your entire time um, at the university. Any question you might have about how do I, a student, and what can I do? I have a question. Definitely come to Mizzou One and check that out. So we link to that on there. Um, that's the main gist of the beginning of Engage. Obviously, there's a lot um, more to it. Um, but just for stepping, beginning, navigating, this is a great start. Um, definitely recommend going to managing your groups and checking out all of these different ones. But please, please, please do not hesitate to reach out to engage at Missouri.edu with any questions at all. Um, we get back to you guys pretty quickly. So we're happy to jump on a call, send an email and, and help you be successful on Engage. So thank you so much for coming to this training video. And I hope you took a lot from it.